this is going to be my most experimental root right here. It comes from this uh, this yellow flower type of plant. I'm just not sure what it is exactly, but I, I really strongly suspect it's it's healthy. So I'm going to take the chance. So I think this is like the the huckleberry type of uh, plant, a tree, and it won't benefit me, but I'll just weed it. Just for the fun of it you can weed around them it's got a long ways to go this morning I I uh, forgot I had mullein leaf in my pockets and I had to blow my nose and I just I pull it out this isn't it but I just use it like a tissue I just had to wipe my nose and this these the leaves I picked yesterday were in my pocket all night all day and night and they didn't fall apart or anything I guess as long as they don't get too dry they'll stay flexible and act like tissues all right walking back out here I did not notice catnip before I saw one plant and I'm like ah that's not enough I don't want to pick it but now I'm seeing a little bit more catnip um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pick some catnip toss that have some catnip and coffee and cleavers I'll have those cleavers too All right, this is a, a strange strange cedar tree that grows this yellow flower what's the deal with that I never seen a cedar tree an evergreen grow flowers like this there's a few of them I mean it's not all over it's it's late bloom so they're 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 dying. Are they edible? I've never seen an evergreen tree with with flowers. And it, it looks like a pretty common one. I've never seen one. They're like, yeah, over here too. There's and look, they, they got the berries. They grow a flower. River's a little dirty. Can't quite see what's in there. I thought it looked clear from the bridge come down here and it's not so clean I kind of think this is horseradish it's got a massive root I did not expect to see all right we'll see what this is all about is it yellow dock it's got a, a lot of yellow to it I just dice it up for a tea leaves apparently are edible too but I just want the I just want to try the root little section of it this is definitely not a horseradish it looks kind of similar very woody root kind of similar in appearance all right just gonna skin this thing there's something in this crack I don't like Very orange, very orange. It's all right, and I think I want to dice it up too. Right, uh, it's been what 15 minutes or so. I chewed on the end of of this plant, and the taste—I don't know. I hate to describe it as similar to vanilla, but it's a very, very, very mild vanilla in the raw state. Did not cook it at all. Just chewed on it. I feel fine. So you just got to give it more time and see what happens with this other root. I think I'm just gonna boil it by itself I'm gonna skin it and boil it and and then uh, drink the properties and see what happens so I decided to boil that orange 
that orange root and it's now turned to liquid orange. I warmed up the, the potatoes again, so I just I tossed discs of that orange root into there. Let's turn the water all orange, see what problems it causes. And also I have another question. Could these flowers be edible? I chewed on the root and I'm fine. But I wonder about the flower petals. I could gather them pretty easily. Are they healthy? I'm a little scared of this liquid. It's the fish cooking liquid with potatoes. And they sat out all day yesterday in this car. So I don't know what to expect exactly. I rewarmed them to kill any pathogens. And then put this orange root in there, whatever the heck it is. And then when it cools down, I'll drink that the liquid. I won't chew on the, the root. It's got a pretty color. And I think that each ring might represent the year that it's been alive. One, two, three, four, four years, maybe going on five. There's so many things I want to look into today. I also want to investigate this plant. I, I suspect this is a valerian without seeing the flowers I'd have to dig it up and smell the roots the roots can't lie I don't know if the color difference shows up but there's this weird patch of blue grass it doesn't go to the seed and it's just this weird shade not quite green it's one over near the hemlock too if I should make a habit of putting a blanket on top of the car this is my heaviest one this uh, wool blanket doesn't cover everywhere and then I'll put the 25 pound weight on top so if it does blow around it won't blow off there we go see if it makes a difference I'm like looking for that flower plant because uh, I'm tuning on the root it closed its flower. I guess it does at midday or something. It opens the flower up at night. Closes it during the day. You'd think it would want to be open during the daytime. I'm like looking around. <clears throat> so crushed tomatoes might be a li little bit more cr chunkier than tomato sauce, but it's acceptable. Mainly because there's no sodium added, no salt added. And this time I'm only opening up one end and I'll let it pour out slower. Because I put a little hole on the other side for one and it poured out too too fast. Alright, just following the river just a short distance. Seeing that there's evidence of beaver activity. Humans don't chew on wood like this. Just chewing away this big old log. taking it down that's impressive along this river they also came in far enough here to chew down this tree they chew them down and then don't do anything with them so somebody took the time to stack fallen wood into a, a very shoddy shelter just stack in the wood. Switch grass? I'm not sure which one is it. This? Or this stuff with uh, seeds on the top. There's two types. I think somebody dropped marijuana? There is a plant that looks similar to marijuana. Similar. But it's not. This might be that. Alright, they experimented with a native grass test plot. And then abandoned it. And now we see what really, what really thrives in place of the native grass test plot. There were names, some names fell off, that's just grass. 
taken over by is that mustard okay no because I think this is mustard there's two types of mustard mustard took over all the native grasses here and it may be just a matter of the seeds happening to lay happening to be able to spread out more effective than the other plants but you can see like there's there's maybe a protective barrier that prevented a lot of plants this the mustard could handle yeah like you see the yellow uh, well I don't know if that's a strong indicator there's a lot of yellow actually the mustard plant was able to withstand the herbicide maybe that was laid out salt possibly or whatever they used all right I tossed my rebar the long rebar and now I have regrets I took this one in place the smaller one man all right I'm just gonna all right it's only two feet if I had that other one if I had two I think I'd like two two really long rebars that go the length of this this blanket that would hold the blanket down really good I just now realized I could toss the weight on top and and then stop it from from flapping with the rebar but I threw away that long rebar no I want it back but that's hundreds of miles away it could be, this could be something that's useful if I could get another get two long rebars for this or maybe this piece of wood could actually go in and be and hold it something maybe I don't need the rebar I also have this and then a cane just as long I just need a, a really strong wind to test this all right I'm gonna uh, make a catnip and cleaver tea for the evening time with extra catnip since catnip and cleavers are all around just take advantage of these two things okay so I'm gonna fill this thing up full of catnip and cleavers they're intertwined look at that they're right in the catnip anyway So, just kind of do it that. And, oh, I don't know. Take that much. Looks clean enough. Toss it on in there. Make sure it's all clean. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Let's see where. Ah. There's another one. I'm gonna have enough room for water still, so. One more cleaver. Doesn't need to be huge. Okay, I'll go with this. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty full. I almost need a, a bigger teapot. Well, I don't see the nest for it, but I got this little egg here. <gasps> Whoa! There was stuff in it. Oh, no. Yeah, boiled catnip leaves aren't too bad. 
still a little warm for me. It's it's quite it's quite it's like it's got a hint of mint to it, cat mint. So I had a bit of an emergency in the in the bathroom, and somebody warned another um, customer: careful, um, careful! It's going to make your eyes water. And he's talking about me. Whoops. 97 degrees in two days. Around here, it's going to be near 100 degrees in two days. I'm struggling at 79 for a high today here. I'm jumping. I'm definitely jumping. Uh, to that next uh, town, Chevron or whatever it's called, the Walmart there. I'm jumping. I'm going to make that big jump. I'll look for parks on the way, cook the catfish. I'm going to need extra water with me just to be safe. <sighs> but that's too high. It's nine, near 100 degrees. I can't, I can't relax. I like, I'll start getting convulsions. It's a strange effect. I still have yet to look at the map to under, to maybe get a better idea of why trucking is such a big deal around here. They fill up the Walmart parking lot and across the street at the TA. They're up and down the highway constantly. Alright, I thought I was closer to California Hill. Whoopsie. Oh no. So what's that all about? Oh, you can not read it. Oh, it's the people that traveled to California. All right. I'm not heading that way. I'm, no, I don't think I'm heading that way. Everything else is kind of too far in a different direction than I'm going. All right, I grabbed a little motherwort. I had to give it a taste test to try to remember what it was, what it tasted like. And it's very bitter, very good for coffee. I, li I like this taste. It's supposed to affect the heart in some way.